Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Best Life and Beyond. We are out in front of the Spirit Halloween store. Yes, these often pop up uh, during the Halloween season all around and we didn't know it was even gonna happen for 2020. No. But it did and we're excited. So we're gonna go and check it out and buy a bunch of stuff. Maybe look at stuff, get scared. Oh yeah. It's gonna be a good time. So we'll do a little merch search if you will. You better believe it. <laughs> Let's get in there and go check it out. And the second you walk in, you're greeted by Reaper's Island, Katie. Look at- That's scary. Look at these uh, friendly fellows over here, left and right. This might be the closest thing to a haunt we get. I know, and look. I, I think you're supposed say. to step on those. Let's see what happens. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, that is insane. And your soul. <laughs> He's terrifying. He really is. All right, this one I can't imagine is going to be fun. All right, pig man. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. I really don't like that one. He's got that crazy uh, butcher's knife there. Oh Whoa! Gosh. <laughs> that one's great. I love I didn't that. Hear that. It's a leaner. I've never seen a leaner well, before. And it's weird because I pushed it and I was like, nothing's happening. What's she gonna do? Get away! Okay. She's, she's got, terrified. Yeah, she's got those vacant eyes. I think they maybe light up and we just can't see because it's bright in here. Yeah, most likely. Which I'm not like, oh I'm my okay God. with. I don't need that. Live animals. This guy is uh, Oh, not... this doesn't do anything. It's just, these are the ones that you can walk past. He's just impaled on a, on a piece of wood there. It doesn't look good for him. Does this kind of just give you like tiki room vibes a little it bit? It does. It's like we're in spirit tiki. But I love the flame. Yeah, these are cool. The flames uh, with the material. You know that that's what they do in On Pirates, 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 Pirates of the Caribbean. It's something like It's that. a rudimentary version of it. But it's so cool. That's so cool. It looks like real fire. Yeah, completely safe. And it's just lights that's with a awesome. fan with the silks. I think that's silk. Look at this guy up here. Whoa! A scary clown child on a swing here. Oh boy. Are you serious? Oh! Oh, would you grab free candy from him? Yeah, I don't think I would. No, I can't say I would either. Yeah, I don't want what you're giving there, buddy. Not at all. Beware of this guy. I can't bear to watch scary things. I'm such a sensitive soul. Perhaps you will come closer. <laughs> Did you see his eyes were yeah. like spirals? That Dude, was so cool. cool. They were cool looking, but terrifying. Terrifying. Let's see what's on the other side, yeah. Oh. Scary feet. Passed out up there. <laughs> Too much candy. Too much. Ah, <laughs> the woods dealing with me. Don't you? Whoa. Whoa. It's the ones that are like. You don't think they're gonna move, and then they do. He was good because he did a he did kind of a leaning move, which yeah. was different, you know. They're doing more moves than I remember things ever doing. Yeah. You know. Now this is the the clown from uh, yeah. it oh. with his balloon. His eyes just lit up. Whoa! Oh, whoa! Oh, he got big. That was cool. Dude, he grew like. See, they do these moves. You don't think I was ready for him to go like to this, like lean and forward he went up? Yeah. And it's like it scares you when it doesn't do what you think it's gonna do. Oh, Whoa. it's still scary. Yeah, that's pretty I know cool. It's coming and it's still scary. Yeah. This is what's funny is that guy that got us in the beginning. He's he's like hiding behind the pillar right yeah, there. He's not, cool. <laughs> he's not nice. Say goodbye to these terrifying fellows. Okay, we can finally make our way into the store. Like, just trying to get in the store was terrifying. Yeah, it was. Yeah. But cool to look at. Yeah. So they have sections. This is the tarot section. Not the terror section, the tarot yeah. section. That also reminds me of the Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. The, the sandworm, sandworm greeter. greeter. Oh man, I remember that. That is cool. I haven't watched Beetlejuice in a while. We gotta watch that. There's even a Ouija section, which is really spooky. 
We got a Ouija pillow so you can sleep well at night. That would not go well for me. So here's the home decor section that us Disney people are a little more uh, Yeah, I see some familiar faces over here. Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, look at those. What is this? A little decorative pillow, I think? I believe so. So then they have a couple of throw blankets. This one is reversible. Oh, there's the two sides. Yeah, that's, that's cool. That's actually really nice. And there's zero, Katie, look. I know, I see he's $20, I could see the tag there and I guess he just hangs he's like a decorative zero sure you could you could probably put a uh, like a fan on him and blow his his yeah. little ghost ghostly that. body there they also have a mini ceramic uh, cup set those are neat those are really tiny and look lock shock and barrel the trio of terror they sure as they're are. known as that they are. in the industry and then there's also some plush dolls some some uh, pretty good size plush versions mm -hmm. Jack and Sally I really like that like decorative like kind of wreath thing you can put on your wall yeah I like that look at these goblets Katie the wine glasses wine glasses I just wanted to say goblets because it sounded like goblin and then the Sally version with a little sparkle on there That's really pretty so these are really popular this year these are those like uh, ceramic like heat reveal mugs oh, so when yeah. you put hot fluid I guess you could say uh, it uh, the scene reveals. I love that. It's pretty cool, and I like this. This would be so if this was at Disneyland. This is something that they would do. Uh, it looks like one of the collectible tumbler type things that they've had in the past. This would be so incredibly popular. Disney would probably put a light in it or something, but still. It would sell out, so it's $14.99. That's awesome. But yeah, this would be a popular item. There's even some luminaries, uh, as you call them down here. We've got a Zero, a Jack, and a Sally. And look at that great sign, Halloween Town. Oh, I love that, I want that. Isn't that great? And another section us Disney fans would be proud of. Hocus Pocus. Yes. Oh, look at. Billy Butcherson's uh, tombstone. Oh, that's rad. Billy. Oh, Billy. Oh my gosh, I totally want this. When uh, she says, oh look, another glorious morning. Makes me sick. And she slams the, the window shut, right? I think so, yeah, that's 2020 right there on a mug. It is. Aw, Binks is my boo. Kind of like what I call Binky sometimes. That's Binks. true, you have called her that, yeah. A coffee cup. There's the there's the Sanderson sister pops. Wow. As a as a set with a cauldron. That's really neat. That is cool. And I really like these are kind of like props almost. Decorative like the potions. Potions, yeah. Just add two drops of oil. Two drops oil of oil and a dead man's toe. Dead man's toe. <laughs> oh, Winifred. She's kind of got a, a Mickey thing going on with her hair right yeah, there. Yeah, she almost looks like the vinyls. Yeah. Look at these cool uh, candles. That's cool. Spell candle. Black flame candle. This is Halloween. This is, is Halloween. 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 Oh, it's a wall decor. Oh. That's awesome. Hey, Jack. He's all hey. This is kind of neat. It's a stack of, of books that you could put out, you know, with spells and things. That's a neat little prop on the way to the back. And I noticed they have DJ Marshmallow heads that you can you can become him and even the jacket. Here's a really cool display. I'm not sure what part of I think you can buy all the props and maybe the lighting that's involved. And I bet you that guy probably jumps out at you and I don't even want to find out how oh. he does that. Or... Hey Bubba. I don't want to pet Bubba. Nice puppy, nice puppy. Easy, easy. Yeah, so far he's not moving, thank goodness. No, no. And we've got a two-headed rat monster right here. Look at this thing. And ladies and gentlemen, this is Katie every morning in 2020. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Where's my coffee? A nice angelic little girl. Although, she has, she has a look on her face like I don't know if I want to mess. I'm going to back up. She's got a teddy bear. She looks terrified. Katie has found the masks, wigs, and weapons, sickles, and I don't know what you would call that, a trident? Pitchfork, maybe? A, a devil trident? Pitchfork? Pitchfork, yeah. This is a basic axe, just so you know. Like, please don't mistake it with like a battle axe or a widow maker or even a jagged axe. Hey, Spence, sometimes you just got to grab the bull by the horns. <laughs> <laughs> That's that pretty so good. Stupid. <laughs> oh, that is awful. That would be a good costume, actually, just to buy those and just run around all night with them. There's some terrifying old man masks. It wasn't that long ago that we had the uh, raid Area 51 thing happening, and this guy was probably the, the main reason for it. It's your fault. All sorts of masks to choose from your typical demonic clowns, a couple different versions of the shape from Halloween, and of course the hockey mask from our friend Jason. This totally reminds me of the sword of Shan Yu from Mulan. Oh yeah. I present to you the sword and the crest of the emperor. That's rad. There's the pig man. Always, the pig man always represented it. For some reason that 
it terrifies people, including myself. I have this mask. This is the one I freak Katie out with all the time, and I'll just walk into the kitchen with it out of nowhere. Oh, Katie has found the ultimate weapon. Well, what's up, Negan? You know, me and Lucille got something to say to you. Oh, boy. Who's getting it first? You're a big fan of JDM, I know that, so. Big. Big that would be a cool costume for you, and you could do kind of a, a more femme version of it. Tom Johnston from the Doobie Brothers? A couple more wigs. It's like a Goku wig, doesn't it? God mode Goku. Yeah. Generically named Green Spiked. The, the brunette with the beard, we know who that is. And quite a selection of wigs and hats over here. Full range. And normally we'd be like trying these things on and having fun, but because of the situation we're in, just kind of not appropriate to be doing that. So we could just imagine how ridiculous I may look in Maybe one of these hats here. This hat right here, this this little sailor's cap, I think, Charlie, I think that's all you, buddy. And here's the pork pie hat. Doesn't that remind you of Breaking Bad a little bit? Heisenberg? Just saying. We need to put this up after you go to the restroom. <laughs> Whoa! I do love the themed uh, warning tapes. Yeah. Uh, just happens to be a, a, a severed bloody, bloody arm. arm. Yeah, you can okay. put that somewhere from your car. Yeah. Probably would be a good thing for me to do that's out true. of my car. More severed body parts over oh, here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, a whole plethora. Jeez. You can recreate that scene from Temple of Doom where he rips the heart out of that guy. Doom, 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 shows it to him. Here's some 50% off. Buy one, get one. Ghouls. This one's pretty cool, this phantom ghost. Kind of that nondescript face, that always scares me. More scary clowns. Scary nurse. Is that uncomfortable for you? Can I remove some of those just to make you feel a little more comfortable or is that just how you like to roll? Don't worry, Spence. They aren't out of the jugs of blood. Oh, thank goodness. They didn't let us down here at Spirit. There's also a makeup section, of course, with all the different types of makeup to make you whatever you feel like you want to be. Even liquid latex, the spirit gum stuff to make all those weird formations on the face. And look at this over ear. And what would Halloween be without colored hairspray? One of the really easiest things to go to, just like, I don't have a costume, I'll get a bottle of this, spray my hair green. Oh, look at all this color. What oh color my gosh. Wanna you wanna be a Skittle? You yeah, I do. Be? I like I like all the colors, but. It's all you gotta do. You just gotta be like, hey, I think I wanna be this color. Yeah, because I got trucker hats, socks, beanies. Everything you want. Yeah, these costumes are funny. I've seen people dress up in these and surf and it looks so ridiculous. Dole Whip, it's a human Dole Whip, Katie, look at that. Well, it's Dole Whip's cousin, because he's not a whip yet. Yeah, that's true. Right next door, peanut butter and jelly. I prefer plain peanut butter. But Katie, we go together like peanut butter and jelly. jelly. Your German heritage, Oktoberfest piggyback, but for some reason, this man looks like Patrick Agora. There's a bit. <laughs> He's Irish. And then there's a deluxe gorilla, not to be mistaken or confused with just the standard gorilla. Well, you're gonna eventually get real lederhosen. Oh boy. But this could be, and then uh, this is a dirndl, kind of a sexy version of one. AKA Biergarten babe. Like I have a dirndl, but it's not sexy. <laughs> it's not like that. Sure. It's not inappropriate. Dirndl. Sure. But then of course they have the lederhosen suspenders as a choker. Dear Poncho, it's Halloween and I'm hoping that I have as good a costume as you do. Have a great summer. Talk to you soon, Spets. Universal property over here. We got some Harry Potter. Lots of Potter. Lots of Potter. You got the, the ties. All you know, the... I still haven't watched that franchise. I haven't watched much of it. I haven't really given I've it- I've seen like bits and pieces, but I haven't given it the old, you know, like sit down, watch it, read yeah. books. Yeah, and I would like to. Yeah, you know, we have time now. Yeah, we do have time. We have time. Ghostbusters, we just yes. watched that last night. Oh man, <laughs> one of my all time favorites. I can't believe how much I forgot about that movie. It's the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. That's my best Dan Aykroyd. But look, you can even get the jackets. Yeah. You can get Slimer socks. That's great. Stay puff socks. They've even got a PKE meter. That is cool. And ghost traps. They've got ghost traps. I mean, you can literally be a Ghostbuster. You can wear the proton pack. You can have a ghost trap. You can have your meter, your whole costume. It all works. It's insane. Okay, I just want this just to have that shirt because I love The Office as well as Katie loves The Office. There's even a Dwight Schrute costume. Oh, I love it. That is amazing. And Katie, I present to you a Dundee. A Dundee. I would love a Dundee award. Yes. I recognize this this fellow. The Joker. And Deadpool. I love me some Deadpool. And a sweet Riddler jacket. That is awesome. And Katie, if you're ever in the mood to paint a happy little tree, you can become Bob Ross. Right there, you got a Bob Ross artist palette. Look at him. There's even a Bob Ross cap. There's a whole Pennywise section of different Pennywise products. What's this one do? Oh, look at this section, Katie. They've got some uh, some Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse costumes. Look, you can get some hands. 
And randomly, a wall, where's Waldo that fits in there, apparently? Well, you know, Waldo could be anywhere, so it, I think that's... I guess that uh, makes sense. Yeah. Well, oh, Patrick McGord would be very happy with that beanie right there, Shamrock. I know it's it's from the Crayola Crayon line, but Shamrock is my color. Some Sesame Street, there's Elmo. I've always been a fan of the fogging skull pile. It's it's just one of the go-tos for me. Here's one of my favorite sections, all the lighting. You got, you got strobes, you got black light, you got some black light paint, because there's the kind of the mood lighting for the back walls. I wish we could make a haunted house. We can, we should. 400 watt fog machine and then a fog juice that's needed to make that happen. They've even got fog machine cleaner now, which I've never seen that before, but that's smart. And then if you're in the need, you get the big thousand watt fog machine for the big jobs. Hanging skull flame light, that's cool. Oh, here's the jumping spiders that we saw earlier, $49.99 for those. Pink ladies kind of action going on right there. So this whole section is different eras and here's the 80s, well represented. Look at all that stuff. Look at that rad shirt. I would totally rock that just in general. You've got those Macho Man Randy Savage kind of glasses, which are very 80s. You might think that the camera has a Darth Vader mask on it based on the shot you're seeing. It's a gas mask. <laughs> there it is. But, you know, reminiscent of Vader a little bit. There's your standard skull and bones section. Skeleton costumes mask. Ooh, look at this skeleton bandana. That you can kind of wear that during this uh, thing that's going on, can't you? I don't know if these were intended or created before or after the situation, but kind of appropriate. Skeleton hand bracelet, that's neat. And look at this ring, this skull armor ring, whoa. And if you're in need of a vampire goblet, they've got you covered. I do like how they have all the sections. It's all separated into the themes. This is the Funhouse theme, which obviously consists of scary clowns and lots of striped things. Little Friday the 13th, Camp Crystal Lake. Enjoy nature. That's a cool hat. The Freddy Krueger sweater pattern on a cap. And of course the Freddy Krueger blade glove. Good old Jason Voorhees, one of the original guys that scared me to death. This long sleeve skeleton. I have a shirt like that. I just don't know where it is. That's so maybe cool. I shouldn't say I have it anymore. Yeah, right. These unsuspecting children are being given some advice from this alien that's about 12 feet tall. Do not talk to strangers. Probably good advice, kids. <laughs> And they've got a lot more stuff online, so just go to spirithalloween.com to see what else they got. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up here from the Spirit Halloween store. Yes, wow. and we're going to come back because they are going to get more stuff. Yeah. Uh, this is basically just what we can do this Halloween. These yeah. are some of the things we can do. Yeah. Uh, but it was still fun. It gets me in the Halloween spirit, and I was excited. I really liked it. It was really fun. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time on Best Life and Beyond. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>